we make a tutorial on some series from your side we receive a good response so in this video we will cover top 7 count formulas please watch this video complete i am farhan this is microsoft excel series and you are watching digi mastery channel let's start In this video, we will cover 7 most important count formulas. You can see count, counta, count blank, count if, count ifs, decount and decounta. First we go with count formula. You can see data set, first I freeze top row and scroll down, you see the data set. Fields of data is sale person items rate and quantity for each item we get total rates of its item multiply by quantity you see in the formula if i want all total you know r is equal to is the shortcut key in this cell we select this cell and press r is equal to and press enter you see total sum this is simple now here we count how many times total item purchases. Click on this cell, enter is equal to sign, write C O U N T count, small bracket start, value 1, comma, value 2, and so on. Or we select this range, close bracket, and press enter. So result is 29. As you can see in serial number, item is also 29 now here we have sale person's names this time i want to count how many sale persons are in the list to do that click on this cell as equal to sign count c o u n t count bracket start select the range and press enter you can see the result is zero zero what happened why not it gives 29 result so there is difference when we have numeric number we use count formula when we have text or alphabetic words we use counta formula now double click on this cell enter a here and press enter you see the result i hope you will understand this now in this situation if i put here alphabet so count formula not count this only count numeric as you see in this result if i put number in this cell you can see counter formula count this so count formula only count numeric number and counter formula count alphabetic and numeric both if cell value is blank like this so this time like this so this time count and counter formula not count this cell that only count fill cell now i want to count blank cell in data set for this i use is equal to sign count blank bracket start select range or also we expand this range like this and press enter you see only two blanks is found in data set undo all the action and come back to our original position now we cover count, counter and count blank. Let's go ahead. Now here you see different sale persons and items. If we want to count specific name of sale person or item can we count. If we move to quantity and we say that a specific item how many time purchases more than 50 or less than 50. So these are the conditions which we apply on this data set and get the result. For this we use count if formula. Select this cell, write is equal to count if bracket start, select the range, comma, criteria. To do this we select this cell according to this range. We select this cell where heading is item bracket close press enter it shows zero let's enter item 
let's enter item name then it shows the result as you see how many time purchases pen or pencil it shows the result in this column and desk and if you enter desk press enter you see the result now if i go select range comma criteria according to this range is this cell bracket close you can see zero result now enter a quantity in this cell less than 15 press enter greater than 15 press enter less than is equal to 15 press enter you can see the result here we see only one item in one time now if we count a specific salesperson sales specific item in which quantity for this we use count ifs formula select this cell enter is equal to sign count ifs bracket start criteria range 1 comma according to this criteria range criteria 1 we select comma now select criteria range criteria range 2 comma according to this criteria range 2 we select criteria 2 comma we left that rate column go to the quantity select the criteria range 3 and that is the quantity comma according to this criteria range 3 we select criteria 3 close bracket and press enter we can use multiple criteria range and criteria but here we can use only three criteria you see zero because these cells are blank put here salesperson name item and quantity and press enter you see the result in the total again we enter salesperson name salesperson item and quantity now we use count if where we have single criteria range and single criteria for count ifs we use use where we have multiple criteria range and multiple criteria now we cover count counter count if and count ifs now move forward to d count and d counter you can see this data set we select this cell is equal to sign write d count bracket start and you can see database select the database we select a to f comma now select the field click on this cell which is f1 that is the field comma now criteria for criteria we select this cell with the heading or we can select multiple criteria like this close the bracket and press enter you can see 20 in the total now enter the student name here and class you can see one student in total here we can use multiple options like according to the age 16 age according to the 15 how many students are there class 9 age 15 male or female that show the result in total in 8 class 15 age male there is total 2 there is no female 2 students in 8 class which age is 15 inter class 10 you can see 4 4 number of students in class 10 in 9 7 students we have in 8 we have 6 student now enter 9 class and age 15 we have 4 students you can see 4 students if we change it 10 we change it 10 16 age male we have 2 students in 10 class age 15 female 0 less than 15 female only 1 less than is equal to 15 female 1 if we enter in the age less than is equal to 16 gender in female f you can see four female according to the marks we also find these students greater than 300 we have five students greater than is equal to we have seven students less than is equal to 250 we have seven students greater than 250 we have 13 students so now you can see 
डी काउंट फार्मूला इज अ मास्टर फार्मूला वी कैन नॉट चेंज क्राइटेरिया अगेन अगेन ओनली वन फार्मूला इज इंटर वी कैन यूज मल्टीपल क्राइटेरिया नाउ यू कैन सी टेन क्लास सिक्सटीन एज ग्रेटर देन टू फिफ्टी थ्री स्टूडेंट्स ग्रेटर देन इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड वी हैव टू स्टूडेंट्स सो हाउ गुड दिस फार्मूला इज वर्किंग एंड दिस इज द मास्टर फार्मूला नो दिस टाइम वे इंटर ई वन एंड वी हैव द टेक्सट इन दिस कॉलम यू कैन सी दिस टाइम इज नॉट वर्किंग वी इंटर टेन एज सिक्सटीन इन टोटल वी शो जीरो रिजल्ट देर इज शोइंग जीरो रिजल्ट वट हैपन we choose the e1 gender that field has text for this we double click on this cell and now enter here a and now enter here a and then just press enter you can see the formula is working now so if i put 9 you can see total 7 students we have 9 class 15 age total 4 students we have 9 class 16 age Three students we have. Now we select multiple criteria. Yes, formula is working. What happened? So in this we found that so like count and counter, D count work on only numeric data. D counter works for both numeric and alphabetic. I hope you will like this video. In video description you can also go with timestamp and watch your desired topic too. If you like that hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends thanks for watching i will see you